Have you ever wondered? Where does the world actually end? Not just in maps or oceans, but in real life. Is it a cliff into nothing? A wall at the edge of the sea? Or something? Weirder? For centuries, people believed the earth was flat. At the edges? Giant waterfalls or dragons. But explorers like Magellan proved Earth is round. Still, some places feel like the edge of the world. Cape Horn, Chile, the end of the world. Here, the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans crash together. Massive storms, dangerous waves, this is where land nearly stops in South America. Utkiavik, Alaska, the northernmost U.S. city. It faces 65 days of complete darkness. Cold. Isolated. It's like living on the edge of human existence. Tristan da Cunha, the most remote inhabited island on Earth. Only 250 people live here. No airport. Just a seven-day boat ride. A true edge of civilization. Point Nemo, the farthest point from land in any direction. Astronauts in space are sometimes closer to you than any human on Earth. The world doesn't really end. It just changes. From land to ocean, to sky and space. Like the Mariana Trench, deeper than empty Everest is tall. Or outer space, the next frontier. So, where does the world actually end? It doesn't. The real edge is wherever you stop exploring. Like, subscribe, and join us on the next global adventure.